Hey everybody, it's me, Teresa, and welcome to my channel, The Tess Effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> um, I know it's been a while since I've um, uploaded any videos. In fact, hopefully the hair videos that I uploaded or recorded and I actually edited a little bit. Mm, I'm getting better with the editing, y'all. Uh, hopefully those have already been uploaded so but if not they're coming soon I promise um, I want to start off first apologizing for not uploading on a regular basis is that I have been recording but for some reason I can't upload my videos to YouTube through my phone um, without Wi-Fi and I've been having a problem with my Wi-Fi at home and the Wi-Fi at work has since been um, disconnected for personal use because people were downloading a bunch of stuff and downloading viruses and all kind of crazy stuff. So unfortunately they stopped the um, Wi-Fi for personal use. So, so I'm kind of stuck. I don't know if I can, you know, maybe go to a coffee shop or something where they have Wi-Fi and maybe um, connect in and upload from there whenever I need to upload videos until I can get my Wi-Fi situation at home um, right. So, but anyway, so I apologize and um, hopefully I can get that taken care of soon and then I can start uploading on a regular basis again. Uh, so... But like I said, I'm recording, but I just can't upload them when I want to. And if you know a way that I can um, be able to upload without Wi-Fi, if someone could please let me know. I am using my phone for all of my recording and uploading. And before I got this phone, my previous phone, I could upload straight to YouTube from my phone. But for some reason, I don't know if the settings are different or I, I don't know but anyway um, the reason for this video is to just let you know that I did have a successful spring semester um, I am taking the prerequisites for the nursing program at my school I ended this semester with B's in both classes I was taking intermediate algebra and general psychology and um, this is my second time taking intermediate algebra. Last semester, which was fall semester, um, or the previous semester, which was um, fall semester, I had just stopped going to the class because my instructor was just not teaching us. <laughs> um, he would just say, oh, you just have to practice. You have to practice. And I'm like, well, I don't, how can I practice something I, 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 that I don't understand, you know? and. He rarely worked problems out on the board. He used PowerPoint probably 95% of the time. Yeah, not a very good teacher. Anyway, the teacher that I had this semester, however, Mr. V, Professor V, I won't say his full name because I don't have permission to say his name, but he was awesome and he really strived to make sure that you understood the material and he just wanted you to succeed. So yes, I will be taking college algebra with him and nobody else and if for some reason his class is full, I will just have to take it in the spring because I refuse to take college algebra with anyone else other than, other than Professor V. Awesome. So, uh, general psych, um, my general psych class, and I think I mentioned this in a previous video, um, usually when you take general psych, you are like, hey, that should be a really easy class, and usually it is, but my teacher, he is a neuroscientist, and he specialized in memories formation, and he has done all kinds of studies and research. He's um, dissected just numerous amounts of human brains, animal brains. Um, he's, like I said, he's done all kinds of research. He's worked with Nobel Prize winners and, and all that good stuff. So he takes this subject extremely seriously. And he um, wanted to make sure that we were actually learning 
the material and not just memorizing it. So his testing style was critical thinking style. So um, that was very different. Um, most people taking general psych, unfortunately, are not used to critical thinking testing. And I'm definitely one of those people, I'm not used to that. So I did struggle a little bit, but thankfully I was able to pull out a B in his class. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I have to say that he actually made his class um, fun and enjoyable. Um, his lectures were not boring. He was very animated and he had that sort of sarcastic humor. I mean, he made us laugh a lot. He actually has a really great personality. Um, at first, I wasn't quite sure how to take him when I first started his class, but as I got to know him, he's actually a really nice guy. And um, so I, I enjoyed his class a lot. Um, he also added points to our final grade for class participation. And, um, and I was very active in class participation. And whenever he asked questions or asked us to elaborate on certain things, I was always ready to answer. And when I gave my answer, I was right, <laughs> you know. So he did know that I was learning the material and um but yeah I really did um at the end of the day I really did enjoy his class so um and then taking critical style critical thinking style testing actually is good because once I get into nursing school and then the NCLEX you know is critical thinking you know style questions so this is my first taste of critical thinking style questions I've said critical thinking style questions about 18 times, <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, it sort of gets me a little taste of what that's going to be like. Um, coming up, let's see, as far as prerequisites go, I have four more prerequisites to take. So I've been taking two classes per semester because I do work, you know, and um, so fall semester I will be taking college algebra and anatomy and physiology one and two which has a lab and then in the spring semester I'll be taking microbiology and anatomy and physiology did I say anatomy and physiology one and two in the fall anatomy and physiology one <laughs> in a lab in the fall and then um, in the spring it'll be my or I'm getting all tongue-tied in the spring it'll be microbiology and anatomy and physiology too in a lab so um, why did I save my hardest classes for the end I don't know but I do know that I'm going to have to study my ass off and um so those are going to and so for some reason microbiology is scaring the hell out of me i'm not sure why i've always done well in all of my science classes all through high school and i did um honors classes i was doing the <clears throat> college prep i didn't do ap classes um but i did do honors classes and I made A's and B's in those. With the exception of Chemistry 1 Honors, I made a C in that class. But because it was an honors class, it counted as a B on my report card. Ah, so, you know, but um, other than that, all my other sciences, I've always made A's and B's. Um, but for some reason, this, um, this micro class is like scaring the crap out of me. So I hope that I do well. I'm just going to have to just study like crazy for those last um, three science classes. It's going to be a lot, but, um, you know, the payoff in the end is making it to nursing school and then, you know, make, becoming a nurse. So, but anyway, I'm running out of time. So I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Bye, y'all.